Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel where in this uh, series we solve technical interview questions and um, kind of practice Python. Um, let's pick a question, shall we? I was thinking about this one and it's kind of like strings. I'm not that much of a fan right now to work on strings again, but I guess we can try it, right? So 942 die string or what is it? Die di string match? Given a string s that only contains i increase or die decrease. Oh, I see. So the increase decrease, right? Let n be the length of the string. Return any permutation a of zero one to the length of the string, such that for o i. Uh, from 0 to basically the length of the string, right? Like indices. Uh, if s uh, on the index of i is i increase, then a on this index is less than a on the next index. Let's try and see an example. Because we need permutations of A. A, a permuta any permutation A. Of what? Of 0 to n. That's weird. Uh, let's see. One exa uh, example 1. The input is id id. The output 0, 4, 1, 3, 2. Why? <laughs> so if we have basically, is it binary? Uh, increase, decrease, increase, decrease. <laughs> it basically increases, decreases, increases, decreases. Um, so we need a permutation of basically of the list between 0 and n and that basically the length of the um, the string this is between 0 and 4 right so we need to, to find a permutation that will give us uh, an order that will be in this case an increasing order then decreasing increasing decreasing right in this case we have i i i so we need to look between 0 and 3 and uh, find increasing, increasing, increasing. Um, how do we achieve that? Well, I, I can already see it. At least I, see, I saw a pattern and uh, you can also kind of think about what you see. Uh, I'm not sure that the pattern I saw uh, is actually going to work, but you can kind of notice, for example, the way it increases, when you say it increases, you basically start from the very least one and then you go and you go and you go all right so by increase you will always either start start with the last last element uh, the f very first element in the series if you have an increase by decrease you start with the last element and for a decrease you basically want to to space out your available options for decreasing and available options for increasing. In this case, you only have to order them all into options of increasing. So basically that would be your first option of increasing, second option, third option. Which means you basically leave them assist, right? You start in increasing order and you just keep increasing. In this case, you need to find a way to both find orders where you can have increasing and decreasing um, how do you say that kind of uh, to keep the balance or no no to keep in, uh, uh, values in reserve for further decreasing or further increasing how do you do that well if you want to keep increasing you would normally like if you have an order like an order of numbers and you always want to find the most possible ways to increase you would usually start with the lowest possible value right the same way here if you then want to find a series of decreasement as much as possible like as much as element you have left 
you would always start with the most element in the series like the, the greatest one because that would give you the furthest away you are like the furthest starting point the same way with uh, the, the smallest one for the very first increase right so you see the very first one is the like the first the best case increase would be uh, a starting position the lowest element the best case decrease starting position would be the highest element now you have another increase you just need to look what was the last increase that I used it was this one so the next possible one like next best one like the most furthest from the start that is still available is the next one in line right one now you see then you, you need another decrease and uh, what is the let's see again increase right an increase hmm an increase decrease so basically the increase would say this one the decrease would say this one the next increase would say like i said the next increase in line the next decrease would say the next decrease in line right so what is the next decrease from four the best possible one is the three right in the series we look if that is uh, available of course and it should be because this operation should allow us uh, some value here that is possible and it should be a value that is greater than one and less than four right so yeah it, it is definitely a value in between in this case there are two values in between but we we pick the we just uh, we will structure our algorithm to work in either a linear direction from top downwards or from, from bottom upwards and that is all you can see it here again increase would tell us that we start with zero the next one is increase then we take the next one from zero then another increase the next one from from uh, from one and the last element would always be uh, it is based on i guess it is based on what was the last here right uh, because you want to decrease and this would be like three two I would see it like that uh, logically and here you would see it as well like the first one says increase so I pick a zero the second one says increase then I pick a one and you can kind of think about it one or like we start with a zero and we think about increasing so the next one would logically be a one but uh, it still depends on the next element right the next element overrides it kind of next element but still says uh, increase so one and keeping in mind we can continue with a two if we don't overwrite the next one says increase again so we, we we still continue increasing so from one we put the two and we think about three if we don't overwrite and since our list is over we actually put the three because we could not overwrite it and exactly in this case at the end when we put three you would think two if we don't overwrite and the list ends so we don't overwrite and we just uh, put the two in the end and that is all and it will always be like that let's test it out again uh, our list is of course in this case three elements from zero to three right decrease is the first one so we start with three you know the the, the, the highest element uh, in our series and we think about two if we don't overwrite we we do overwrite but we overwrite with decrease again so we pick two and it's always easy because you can actually how do how do you do that uh, you would always only need to remember the last increase and the last decrease that you did that is all uh, you see the last decrease was three we we lower it and we say okay we will be looking at a one if we don't uh, overwrite right um, and uh, actually don't even think about I, I guess at the very end here we will just look at uh, like when we are at the last element in this case it's a increase we never had an increase so we put, pick the very lowest element in our series the zero the list ends so that means that the very last element will al also record what was the intent increase so we put a one here and that's all and i think this is our algorithm um let's quickly check our uh, notes and i want to see yes we are recording um our string can be a flame between one and ten thousand uh only contains i and d so 
for right for direction in and let's have our increase last equals none increase and decrease last equals none and actually I'll have them as as um, I and B just like uh, I actually have to have them like that I guess um, bit, a bit shorter so it sometimes uh, having two explicit words um, just like we will be working with very small things here so I guess keeping the variables a bit shorter is also not a bad idea so we'll have uh, the, the direct direction um, um, four 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 mm. well how how would you call that and this is kind of the <laughs> it it's a joke that uh, naming becomes the hardest part with programming at some point because you're like you really want to have it as good for everybody in the end Well, I would just leave it as direction in this case. In um, range, and I'll say len of s. That will give me, for example, for four, it will give me a range of four, and I don't want that. I want actually a range of five, so from zero to five. Uh, yeah, from zero to four, including. And now, if now we just look if direction is equal to i and we also have we need output this would be an empty array if direction is equal to i um, we will look at if i last is not none you know, if that if that's not the case, then uh, we will say i last is increased to one, and output would also append i last, right? So, for example, in this case, it was no previously already assigned. We'll update it one higher and then append it into the array um, else we initialize it right and we will initialize it um, of course the very first one would be the zero right <laughs> and um, let's see I also want to, to have the ending condition uh, the very very beginning I think or maybe at the end yeah I'll, I'll have it at the end um, so in this case I last would be zero and output appends I last increase last All right now uh, in the other case of uh, our direction being decrease again if the last is not none we would say the last would be decreasing by one and output would be appended the last and I'm pretty sure there's a better way to write it in Python um, else the last would be the len of s uh, in this case, for example, four, in this case it would be three, and we would append the last. Oop. The last, like that. And this should work for the very, basically at the very end, uh, until the very end. Now, um, we want to see at the end what our 
yeah, what our <laughs> I'll kind of write it manually today. I'm not not the the best at uh, programming uh, clean code, so that will be kind of a task for you guys. Um, what I'll do is just write the solution for now, and I want to see it working. So if um, let's say index uh, or no if direction um, well actually the whole time we were talking about direction but this is the direction when we actually use it here right and how would I use it in this case we do want okay we, we have to kind of work it work a bit differently in this case so we do go between uh, for example 0 and 3 0 and 2 right and again if we, we know that uh, for the I last for the going upwards we start from 0 going downwards we would start from this right and um, what else of course I need to specify this here oops like that okay am I missing something <laughs> I don't think so so at the end we are still looking at uh, this this range stuff all right we are basically looping through the through the index only so if direction um, is equal to the length of s minus one which would be the very last one right um, we want to look at mm -hmm, if s direction so basically the very last element in our in our string itself would tell us um, for example if it's increase we know to take the last increase and just append it one more time and return it and it, we wouldn't even uh, put it as a, a, a result in the variable we, we would basically just say because it's the last one anyway we can just say I'll put append I last plus one and for example this would be here right we are at the index 2 0 1 2 like the length would be 3 we are looking at 3 minus 1 2 so basically the very last index we see it's an increase we know the last increase was 2 we put one more and that's all and it will, this would be the 3 else uh, we know it's the other way around so uh, we just say output append the last minus 1 and at the end we only want to return output let's have it like that and just run our code I uh, let's see how much stuff I got wrong um, I got wrong the fact that I'm putting where I should have been between 0 and 4 uh, I did something with the index here so we will correct that I'm assuming this one and what else I don't think something else is wrong there let's have um, I guess this one let's have all three of them because I think they are all kind of interesting like this one and this one but uh, I don't see any issues or any major issues with the code it is pretty straightforward and yeah I got kind of lucky to notice the um, the pattern of always trying to 
to be as most conservative with your choices as possible. And of course, being the most conservative starting from, from the, the lowest element upwards is, yeah, I mean, starting from the lowest element. So you have the most elements left, right? And the same from, so you basically look at two different slopes, two different uh, series that can actually intertwine it with each other and depending on how, how you say here in the string, right? Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think our solution is actually done. Let's see, it is a success. It runs good, I guess memory not the greatest. Uh, I kind of see it, but I mean, it's still, um, when it comes to analysis of runtime, we only go once over the, uh, the whole string, right? We do have a couple of if else statements, but in the end, we only go once, we only append a single, um, a single array at the end. I wouldn't put it anything more than linear time. And for memory, it's actually sublinear. Well, it's not sublinear, it's actually kind of linear anyway, right? Because for, for every direction, we put a, an element in our array, output array, and at the end, we actually have one, one more. So it's kind of like n plus one, which is n. And yeah, that was it. Uh, actually, a pretty interesting question. Uh, I liked, uh, liked uh, thinking about it. My solution is not the best. I'm pretty sure I can shorten that into like four lines uh, when it comes to this thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you, you found that useful and uh, give it a try. Think about the issue, think about the problem, try to code it yourself. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.